the most powerful Brabos ever built. This car is just to die for. These small little details make a Brabos perfect. Listen up to this. Hello guys, I am back today welcoming you all with this. Right in front of us we have the 2024 model Mercedes AMG GT63 SE, but as you can already see, it's not a normal one. So right in front of us we have the Bravo sized version of this car and in today's video I want to give you a full tour of the exterior. Afterwards we'll also check out the inside and then last but not least we will be finishing it all off with a sound check. So let me talk you through. The base for this car is the AMG GT63 GT63 SE Performance. The car that's coming with a V8 hybrid technology for the first time ever, giving us 639 horsepower from the 4 liter V8 from AMG. And then in addition with the 204 horsepower electric drive unit, we have in total 843 horsepower. But as you guys know, Brabos, it's not enough for them. So we have even more power with this beast here. We are talking now not about 843, not about 900 horsepower. We are talking about 930 horsepower, making this the most powerful Brabos ever built. So we have 930 horsepower, guys, which is just mind-blowing. 0 to 100 sprint in 2.8 seconds. And the VMAX is electronically closed at 316 kilometers an hour, almost 200 miles miles per hour. 1550 newton meters of torque is just ah, crazy but we will be talking about the exterior features of this as Brabus has completely changed it all. There's a lot of things that I have to show you so let's get on. First things first AMG GT4 door facelifted version GT63 SE performance. The front of it is completely rechanged. The exterior paint is obsidian black if I'm not mistaken. Full blacked out proper Brabus spec here. We have a few red details and also the inside is super special. Let me just talk about the front of this 930 horsepower beast made in Bottrop. We have the GT4 door specific headlights which are still the same multi-beam LEDs with a cool carbon fiber in the inside. Talking about carbon fiber we have a lot of that on the body of this car. We have some new carbon fiber intakes coming with the 63 SE performance by Brabos giving this car an even more impressive look. In addition with the big front splitter here by Brabos for finishing carbon fiber this car looks just absolutely gorgeous. The front grill with the grill intakes finished in carbon fiber. We have the signature stripes here in red. We have the Brabus double B details here on the front giving this the final touches and all in all I have to say I really love it. It looks so impressive. It looks absolutely dominant and super brutal. Talking about the side we also have a few changes here. I think the car is sitting a bit more lower and also we have a few more details which I have to show you but first we will be focusing on the wheels because here we have the monoblock Z 21 inches here full finished in black gloss and behind that we also have the carbon ceramic brake also with the calipers with the nice red details really cool on the side powered by Brabus badge here everything here on the side is finished in black and also the windows are tinted pretty cool in the rear now we have 22 inches uh, it's pretty cool full black gloss finish on the mono z wheels giving this the final Brabus look and now we will be talking about this the rear just look at it what impressive looking rear stopping the turntable and there we go the Brabus GT 930 now we have a lot of features also on the rear first things first we have a rear spoiler which is coming from factory it's coming with the aero kit okay but in addition to that we have a spoiler and on the spoiler we have a spoiler by Brabus finished in carbon fiber I wish instead of putting this they did the full wing here on the back in carbon fiber but this is also a Pretty cool and decent detail here. 930 horsepower for the first time ever. We have this badge here, really cool. And since we have a hybrid model, you can actually yeah, charge the car from over here, AC charging. There we go. Uh, Brabus double B instead of the star and then we have the Brabus initials here again. Talking about the exhaust and the diffuser in total, we have a full finished 
carbon fiber rear diffuser. I really love it, it is a humongous part. We have the exhaust tips here, the round shaped ones, which uh, it's okay. I am not the biggest fan, but on the GT4 they look pretty nice. Also with the step design here, gloss carbon fiber, black gloss and matte carbon fiber. Really lovely. As you can see, the rear diffuser is just humongous. You see that? It's full finish in carbon fiber and all of this is made in Bottrop, made in Germany at Brabos. This car is just to die for. It's a proper Bravo spec, full black finish, 930 horsepower. I wonder how this drives on the Autobahn. Guys, do you want to see an Autobahn run with this car? Leave it in the comment section below. But now let's talk about the inside because this is also super special. But before we step inside here, we have the key, the GT4 specific key, but on the back, we have the Vaterbach crest. Wait, I wish we had a Brabus double B over here as well. But anyways, Unlocking the car, let me just show you more of this. So as soon as we open the door, we have the Brabus entrance lights here. And then we have the entrance board, which is also illuminated. We have a very, very special and unique masterpiece interior of this GT4 door 930 by Brabus. Let me just jump inside and give you a closer look. The Floor mats are super nice with the Brabus masterpiece emblem here. And then we have the gas and brake pedals also finished in this nice red chrome. Uh, let me just jump right inside and give you a closer look of this. As soon as you also close the door, we have, come on. There we go. The animation GT 63 SE performance animation. Let me just start the ignition for you. As soon as we do that, we have the steering wheel buttons coming alive and then you can switch the driving modes from here. Comfort, Sport and Sport Plus and also Race. And you can also go with the electric hybrid mode and also with the individual mode. And slippery, obviously. We'll be just sticking to comfort here. In the inside of this 930 horsepower Brabus Beast machine, we have a very special masterpiece interior made by Brabus to match with the entire look. So we have a full black leather interior, and then we have this crest stitching, I think, here on the side of the door, which we back in the days knew from the GT900 Rocket. In the inside, all the chrome parts, which we have from factory, are completely refurbished and redesigned, uh, repainted in this red chrome it's a red brushed chromish look i really like it we have in total more than 200 parts which they have to remove repaint and install back inside as you can see just some small details this small ring here you see that on the indicator they remove this repaint it and put it back in the star for example even this button here you see the outside of this here everything they remove it you see just these small little details make a Brabos perfect. The steering wheel is an AMG one, flat bottom, which is full finished in black leather. And also the leather of Brabos, it feels so nice. Let me just go with Sport Plus to match with the red details here. Uh, flat bottom, the steering wheel frame is finished in carbon fiber. I love it. And apart from that, everything else is here finished in this brushed red star as well. Full leather airbag cover, steering wheel buttons looking super cool and very fancy. We have the head up display right over there. And all in all, also with the ambient color, it looks so nice. The seats right over here, full black leather finished with a nice red piping. Really cool perforation here, Brabo's masterpiece badge. Uh, in the back, we have a four seater option on this one. Also, these seats are full finished in black leather with the nice red piping piping and cool design. We have the panoramic sunroof. I really love it. And all in all, guys, this is just perfect. We will be listening to the sound now. I've talked too much. Three, two, one, starting up this 930 horsepower beast. Okay, pretty decent start. But now let's start it up with an emotion start, okay? Let me just do that again. Switching to Sport Plus and then hold one shift pedal while starting up the engine. Okay, this is the emotion start. The car is still a bit cold, therefore we will be not pushing too much. This is actually the sound button now. Back in the days we used to have the exhaust on and off button, but it's now the sound button. This is balanced now and powerful. You can control both electric uh, sound and also the uh, V8 sound with this one. So now listen up to this.
It's a pretty cool sound. We still have the V8 on this. You know, there's one thing I'm asking myself. How does this sound while driving? And how does it sound on the Autobahn? Maybe we will be doing an Autobahn run soon. Please leave it in the comment section below if you want to see that. Let me just jump outside and also give you a sound check from the outside. Let's go. Okay, so now we will be listening to the sound from the outside and we will be starting up this beast with an emotion start. So let's get it on. Three, two, one, starting up. So what I have to mention is the problem with the GT63 SE performance is that the sound is regulated. It's not as loud as the pre-face lift, the normal V8 car. I actually miss it, but I also think the car is not warm enough to be judging the sound yet. So we will be listening to the sound in the future as well. And I promise you it's going to be louder. I promise you. And also while driving, it's way louder, okay? So how do you like the sound in general? I have to say it's meh. Ah. It's not what I expected of this brutal machinery. So what do you think? Leave it in the comment section below.